part two. I can show you guys that you guys can eat good food too and still be healthy. This just made me even madder, the fact that it looked like this. This is what I was supposed to get. So y'all, I gotta get this out because the AC. We're gonna document something again. The last time, I don't know if you guys remember, like my car, something was going on with my car. The starting and all that was really weird. We're at church after service. My dad was driving the car. You can come in, it don't matter. And we were trying to figure out what's wrong with my car because it's like it wasn't starting. It was just acting weird. Like my AC wasn't picking up speed and different things. Come to find out, we think it's the battery. I don't know if you guys remember when we put this battery in. We double checked the footage to see when this was. This was three years ago, huh? Does it say it on there? Cause I don't know if I kept it in there. That's how long are batteries supposed to last? That's crazy. Is it? I gotta Google it. This was June 10th, 2021, and this it was kicking the whole time until now, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. But it just didn't seem that long. So we got to get a new battery and get this fixed. Shout out the pops for hooking your girl up. And I got to get back in this car because it's hot. All right, y'all. Quick little update. I'm picking my, um, took my mom to actually pick up her medication. And I have to go pick up a new medication. We're running some errands. Your girl's looking how she's looking. I should have put a hat on because it is hot. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying a new medication. This one supposedly no side effects because lately I have been having a few side effects. I don't speak much about it, but I feel like I want to start speaking a little bit about things because, I, like I said, this can help other people what I'm going through. Honestly, I think it's the heat that's doing this to me, making my pressure rise like this. Because the other day I was eating like no sodium, like I, didn't, I barely ate anything. And then on top of that for my pressure to be so high and that was after I came in. But we're having heat advisories and all kinds of stuff. So the bottom line is I probably just have to be really strict. I can't really go out to work, which is really hard. And I would love to keep doing YouTube to make that a full time, but you know, I'm still grinding, still trying to do that. And also, shout out to you guys for so much love on that last video I dropped. Like, that was, I was just so thankful to see like an actual vlog to get those numbers. You know, I don't like talking about numbers too much with you guys because I do love it because, like, to do the videos because I enjoy it. But of course, if the numbers and the pay was there, you know, your girl would love it. But yeah, I'm just thankful for that, that last one for a vlog to get those type of numbers. When normally I get those type of numbers from like reviews or other things, you know, something kind of like trendy, if it makes sense. But for me, for something that I, you know, take my time in my craft that I really enjoy making those types of videos to get that kind of feedback in a way if you would say i felt really great about that and i you know i just want to make more content but your girl's feeling up and down i want to get back into the gym i have some previously recorded videos that i'm trying to put together so i can edit but i just haven't been really been able to be on the computer to edit it and stuff like that so that's what's been going on i don't know why i just feel like updating you guys with that but little motivation just keep on going things will get better so now I if I go out it has to be like really early in the morning or later in the evening when it cools off it's about 10 34 right now and it's saying it's 89 degrees so I'm kind of on a crunch to be back before like noon and my medication just got filled so I'm gonna try a new one when she said I'm supposed to feel like no side effects and I'll feel great and then I probably feel back better to be able to you know exercise and run around like I want to because that, I'm just saying this is really weird I think it's just this heat and then, you know, you got to make sure you're hydrated. I've been drinking a lot of water. And then even then, you need something with electrolytes. And I don't want to do Gatorades and the other stuff because that's high in sodium. So I offered to switch to body armor again. My nephew just reminded me when he gave me one and it felt great with it. There's like barely any sodium in body armor. And you can get the low calorie one. Matter of fact, I might as well show you. You can get the low calorie one like these. And they don't have sugar. So... And these, it's only 20 milligrams of sodium compared to like the hundreds of the other bottles. And then there's zero sugar. It's only one total, zero added sugar. And that sugar should just be from like the natural fruits and stuff like that. And they do taste good. So if you can tolerate this, the ingredients, there's so many different flavors, but I got the peach mango. And I think that really helped me. My mom made me some homemade garlic water. If you don't know, boil um, garlic and then you can let it cool off or however and drink it. That's supposed to lower your pressure. 
and my other sister told me about hibiscus tea before so i made that and i was just drinking a lot of fluids around the clock and i really just slept yesterday but today i'm feeling much better before i even took the medicine and i can get a few things done i got some projects and stuff like that to get busy with i still have other content to film for my brand sponsorship so you know your girl had to get back so i can give you guys some gems and stuff like that and i feel like i was supposed to tell you guys something else but i don't remember so i think we're just gonna get ready to uh head out and hit the next door i got my smoothie another island punch with no sugar and pea protein pretty good to help me get the nutrients that i need to keep going but yeah i feel like i've done enough talking let's go hit the streets just kidding not the streets we're gonna go to like Target or Michaels or something. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I get the shine. Now throw your hands up. This candle smells fire. 30% off? I should transform my little side. I need to see how much this cabinet is. Even the white too is kind of different. Black and white. I like the black. Black or marble. Definitely one of those. Yo, I'm in Target and found so many different snacks. I just thought I had to record. They got the heavenly hunks. I like the hard cake. And then where's the other one I just found? Look who's back in store. I wanted the dill pickle, but those are 280 milligrams and kind of stay low. This is 180 for three cups. So if I have one cup, it's about 60. So not too bad. Okay, so you guys seen everything when we went to the store. Today, I had to go get some salt-free chips. Wegmans had this one. I don't know if you have a Wegmans near you. I went to a couple different stores. They were either sold out or didn't have it. But Wegmans for sure has these no-salt tortilla chips. And I like that because it's zero sodium. And when you actually look at the ingredients, you don't see any salt. Because some of them will say low sodium or no salt. And when you look at the ingredients, it still has salt in it. But these are very good options besides the other ones I showed you guys. So today we're going to try to make nachos. And I'm just going to experiment with these different seasonings and try to make it taste good. You know, I think it still tastes pretty good. Limiting on sodium and stuff. And I have ground turkey to make. I forgot to mention I do use these black beans. They're low in sodium. They do say sea salt, but when I had this before, it didn't bother me. So the serving is 135 for a half a cup, I'm definitely not eating a half a cup of beans, just like a couple of tablespoons. And then on top of that, when I rinse them, I put them in the strainer here and rinse them completely off. And I put them in like water, as you can see here, which I got the wrong aisle on. What the heck? That's why I wasn't heating up. I just felt heat right here. But yeah, I put it in with water. And then I try to use some salt-free seasoning, some sort put a little red pepper to make it a little spice and then I think I want to add some oregano leaves and that usually tastes pretty good but we got our ground turkey that I have to cook I'm only using half of this the rest I'm gonna finish meal prep if you guys wait I'm gonna do a, a video later about my groceries and stuff and what I've been doing to prepare so you guys can see that the timeline's a little bit off so this one may come before or after I'm not quite sure but you guys will see everything that I brought y'all I'm honestly so surprised at the way this turned out don't mind the background, we've been filming, cleaning, cooking, and all this stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tiny bit of salsa to give it just a little bit more flavor, but honestly, the meat is like flavored perfectly, and that's all with like salt-free ingredients. You've seen the salt-free garlic and all that, and I did put onion, minced onion and black pepper, so I don't know if I showed that earlier, but let me show you what the meat's looking like. You know, ground turkey is a little different, so I put about, that's about three, four tablespoons, honestly. So that's not bad at all. You're not eating this whole pot, so you're not getting that whole sodium amount. It's gonna be mixed in with all the meat, and it's gonna make it taste that much better. Honestly, this tastes really good, especially if you're thinking about for your health and stuff like that. Not that it's bland or dry or anything, you know. I try to make things as flavorful for people who have restrictions and stuff like that. I can show you guys that you guys can eat good food too and still be healthy. So yeah, this is definitely a good one in the books, and I can't wait to eat these nachos. Ooh, I didn't even hit record. Here is the nachos. 
and one for my mom. And then we got this drink that I told you. <gasps> it was spilling in my nachos. Weight plus. Yo, I got a big basket of laundry to do. Look at my basket leading. But I've been loving these little Netflix series. They got the sports. Now this one is called Receiver. I'm about to tap in while I clean up and do what I gotta do today. All right, y'all, I'm back. Finally finished the clothes. I wanna show you guys some things that I got. So I haven't really been recording because like I said, I've been fluctuating a little bit. But um, my mom got me a few things and we went out and picked out some stuff. And I feel like I just want to show you guys what we got from all. First things first, I got this mic a while ago, but this mic sound quality is so trash. I don't even want to use it. I thought I was going to do this whole aesthetic thing where, you know, The mic is trash. I can't even use all the good quality bad. I got it from five below, but candy already been ripped open. And I think that's what helps me get a lot better. And you guys know we got the rollers. I never got a chance to do the nail stamp art kit, but we're gonna do that again soon. And then I got my toothpaste that I gotta stack up on. We're gonna be trying some new styles. So you know your girl got like a lot of different hair stuff. Just like I got this scrubber to have some like spa days and different things throughout the week for like spur of the moment whenever I want it. And then I thought about just trying this hand soap to see because I couldn't make it to Bath and Body Works. We were already there so I got some soap. This one is summer berry. It's raspberry and strawberry. You know it imitates the look of Bath and Body Works. We'll see if it hope, you know, see if it gets our hands clean and stuff just like it should. And then I just got some soap and hand wipes for my car when I do orders and stuff. Because when you're traveling, keep some bags and different things in the store. I like to wipe my hands off. But now that we got this out of the way, we definitely have something way more exciting. I'm gonna leave that candy out, so I'm gonna need some of that. <laughs> my bag ripped. Bro. Okay. Part two, we got the, the new package. This one looks like it's taped really good. And see, I see the hooks and everything on here. Last one did not have any of this stuff. So let's just unbox everything and we can get busy with this. Cause I've been waiting for this. I wanted to use it the last video and I was so hurt. My feelings were just super hurt. But let's unbox and make sure we got all the pieces this time. Bro, what the heck? These people got pulled over in the UFO driving to Mexico. And that lady, she looked like an alien with them glasses. She looked a little scary. <laughs> I don't know where she get this from. Oh, this is definitely the right package in this one. Oh. Look how the stuff came. She got an Amazon box, right? Oh, they really played me the last time because this thing is plastic wrapped and everything. Why she got? Why she got her? Wow! Own. Hooks and it didn't have none of this stuff. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It wasn't even a Ziploc bag. It was the Walmart cheap brand bag that was open with tape and everything. Oh yeah, see now I'm set. It does come with the hooks and everything that I need. I had to hang products, towels, and all that on it. They didn't give me nothing. That really crazy. I can't believe this. This just made me even madder, the fact that it looked like this. This is what I was supposed to get, and that's what they gave me. I'll show y'all everything, and then a time lapse of me putting it together. Okay, so I just really showed you guys all the instructions so that way if you want to pause, if you guys do order this, you can see like real time kind of how I'm doing it. So I'm just going to speed this up and put it together. But just in case you guys use the instructions or something like that, you guys can see I have every single piece. These are C's, E's, D's, B's, 
and it looks pretty simple and easy. So let's just get busy. When they say she get it from her mama, I'ma say her right body book is unpolite. Tell me in a humble life. Tell me is you down? Cause I'm tryna go good tonight. All they hope she's left and right. I just wanna live in fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top of the memory. I've ever made in my life. Permanent ecstasy. The ladies is pimps tonight. Live inside a dream. I stay where the love is like. I put that on my own. the quick scoop so this came out good I don't know if there's a difference between this size piece and this one but realizing now this piece is supposed to be at the top because they have these little um I forgot what the word is called the groove basically the pre drilled holes for the screws so you this one's supposed to be flipped upside down and then on top of that you screw underneath and then it be able to screw into the wall that bracket but I'm not gonna do that and if that was the case that would have been on the top part so it doesn't fall I really don't think it's going to fall and the only other thing I have to screw in is this which will go behind the toilet but it's good that they have us put it in after if we want that extra support in. I think I am still going to put it on because it will make it look nicer but it will just be a little hard to clean when you can't really move that little section but it will work out. And I don't think you'll see that this thing anyways because I'm going to get like baskets and stuff to make it cute and these are supposed to just hang somehow on the sides like this that's it then i got a few other hooks right here but i'll show you guys that in a sec let me go put this in the bathroom okay so editing jazz back i did end up fixing the stuff again in the living room because my room had got super hot i got too hot and then i ended up cleaning the bathroom and just getting so hot i had to change up my clothes and everything but i did fix it that piece that was on the um top i switched it to the bottom and it did feel a little bit more sturdier so i'm glad i did that and just knowing that i had the pieces in the right spot it just kind of made me feel a little bit better but i did put these little sticky pads on that it came with basically to stop it the little rubber stops to stop it from scraping and scratching your floor nothing too crazy but we'll just see how it looks in the bathroom car was fixed it's running well health is back together your girl's been feeling good like i said i've been having my ups and downs but 
today is a good day. Yesterday has been a good day. So we're gonna continue on. I figured today, why not try to get me a little walk in? And I know these vlogs are like really out of order. And I'm just gonna continue. I feel better to edit, so that's all that matters. It's all good. And I'm gonna put them out whichever way I can. Cause I know I have a couple of them already like basically ready to go. I just honestly have to edit them and I couldn't be on the computer. So we're gonna get that taken care of. But today I just finished editing the rest of this vlog. So now I gotta get myself right and back in order, staying good and healthy by going to the gym and getting this workout on. So you guys will see other clips later on. And I know I definitely, I feel like I lost weight and I feel like I probably wouldn't even be able to tell in the clips that I, you know, haven't edited yet. You can see a difference already and I feel a difference. So I'm excited for this little journey that I'm on, healthy living and all that. And I do have to go to Michael's because I want to get my eucalyptus back in this bathroom. That's just setting everything up. I got to get my containers for my um, storage, underneath storage. So you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna put it in different vlogs later on so you guys can see like a whole transformation. I didn't hang none of my artwork up that I had. I just forgot about that. That would be perfect. Yeah, so you guys just stay tuned. I'm not gonna do like one big video. Maybe this time I might just put it in several different vlogs. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'm not gonna talk you guys' ear off like I said. So I'll just see you guys on the next one. I gotta get this workout in. And just make sure you subscribe with that post notification bell so you get an alert when I drop that next video. But I'll see you guys later.